Okay, so now let's turn our our color shading back. And it's actually good to keep these colors, it will just make everything more simple. Let's move our shell on the top. And let's see, let's move it up here. Actually, you know what, let's make it blue. Just so we have everything nice and sort of color coded. Okay, like that. And yeah, we can actually probably delete the font. Oh no, let's leave that on. We actually edited the font that to do what we want. So let's leave that on. And now what you need to do is just turn on the dyna dynamics and the bullets we want to bounce around and fly and fall. The steps we actually want to be there just to bounce the bounce the bullets and let the bullets lie on them. So what we'll do is we'll select both the steps and we'll say simulation tanks and collider and that will basically turn it into just a a static object that will bounce bounce the moving ones around it and for the shell we'll add simulation tag rigid body and already you can see that the bullet will basically bounce off the bounce off the steps and just lie there so let's see now we want to make sure our project is 24 frames per second just before we forget that. Also, let's make the output as well. That will make everything simpler. Let's give ourselves some more frame range so we can play with this a little bit more. Let's get out of our camera. And what we'll do now is we need something to sort of spit the bullets down on our scene. And that is an emitter. So we'll go into simulate particles and select an emitter. Just play for a little bit, just so we see which way it spits the particles. We can see that very well, so let's move it up. Let's see. Okay, it's this way. So we need to turn it down like this. So it's so it faces down. Also, let's look like, here from the top and let's sort of move it here, right here in the middle, and move it a little bit more above our scene. And now let's put the shell in that emitter. We'll say particle render instances and show object. And yeah, that's pretty much it. What, what he also needs to do is definitely lower the birth rate. So maybe three, let's look at that. Yeah, that's quite okay actually. Um, next, we'll, we want some variation in this, so let's actually play with the rotation. So rotation variation 100%, so let's just rotate them a bunch. And let's see, actually more than that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Actually, let's stop the, the emission way later. So let's say just 240, just so we, so it keeps spitting bullets or shells. And why aren't my shells blue anymore? Come on, let's, let's make, make the emitter blue on, or does it not work? On and blue, okay. Yeah, that works. So let's just watch this for a little bit. Let's maybe look at it from the camera. Yeah, I guess I want a couple things to be a little, little different. I want the emitter to be probably higher. The bullets are falling a bit too slowly. So let's look what that does. Oh yeah, I have the wrong camera selected. That's actually not bad. Also, I think I want to increase the friction. I don't like how they're sort of sliding around. Yeah, here how they're sliding on. I don't like that very much. So let's just increase, increase the friction. Maybe try, let's say 70. Let's just play this. No, this is doing weird stuff. Also, I don't like how it's sort of dropping through the actual floor. So let's let's maybe go in here and change our shape. 
The shape right here in the in the collision tag or the dyna dynamics body tag pretty much says that it will MoGraph will wraps a, a sort of an imaginary object and around our our geometry and use that as the as the sort of way to bounce it around. So we probably probably want to try more, more, maybe a cylinder. I'm not sure which one of these it's supposed to be. So let's just look and see. It's definitely doing less weird stuff, but it's still sort of, yeah. And you see how it sort of swung there. That means the cylinder was in the wrong axis. So let's try another one. Yeah, this looks right. That looks pretty much correct. They're still dropping through, which I don't like. Maybe let's go into our project settings and in dynamics and expert. Let's multi let's increase the steps per frame. And what this does is says how many sort of subframes it will calculate per frame. So of course, the higher this number, the longer the the simulation time or the longer it takes to render. But then again, it's it's sort of more accurate. So let's see if that perhaps helps. And I definitely can, can't really see all that much of these. I think it did help actually. So maybe let's up that, uh, up that a little more. Yeah, I don't like how they're stopping. So let's just play around with the friction. Maybe I want to decrease it here and increase it here on these steps. Okay, so I try maybe like 50. And let's watch that. And now it's a little too much. So let's try maybe 45. I guess that's not bad. That looks pretty fine, actually. Maybe I want to increase the birth rate just a little. So maybe let's try like four, perhaps. Let's see that. Maybe a bit more of a bounce, perhaps for the bullets, let's say like, like 60. And let's see. Yeah, they're definitely not, not bouncing around enough. Maybe let's decrease the friction and increase the bounce in the steps. I was doing some weirder things now, actually. I think the bounce was better before. So maybe, maybe if we decrease it, it might have an, a positive effect. I'm not sure. It, I mean, it's not logical, but these things really never actually work that way. So let's just see what that does. Actually, I think it did help. So let's maybe decrease the bounce for the bullets as well. And let's see that. Oh, that doesn't work. That's definitely not better. So let's try to increase the bounce in the bullets and decrease the bounce in the steps. And I know I'm, I keep saying they're bullets, even though they're shells, but let's just not notice that. Yeah, this is way too weird. I have no idea what's happening right now. So let's just undo that. I think it was best when it was 50-50. So let's just put it back there. And that's not all that great. I don't know. Let's 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 try to decrease the friction, maybe. Maybe now increase the bounds. Oh, sorry, I got a message. Well, no, they're definitely, yeah, I think that's actually way better. Uh, 
That's actually not half bad. Maybe I want to increase the birth rate even more because I want them uh, there to be a few more on the on the step actually just lying there. Let's just watch it from here. Yeah, they're they're flying away way too flying way too far away. So let's maybe make the emitter smaller. Let's just look from this angle again. Hey, it helped a little bit, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't really, I think actually that, that's not half bad. So let's just, you know what, let's actually, maybe I want to put the emitter a little back. So we have more of the bullets right here on where our actually actual focus plane is in the, in the back plane. So let's just watch that for a while. Actually not bad. I still don't like how there's, how they, don't really stay on the ground that much. But as I can see, there's actually not that much of them falling away. They're just, I guess, out of the shot, perhaps. Maybe if we... Oh no, my mouse died. Oh, come on. Uh, maybe if we put the emitter lower. Yeah, actually it was better before. So let's maybe let's take that, let's actually bake the cache. And what we'll do is we'll create a sort of quick preview. Let's preview all the frames. We don't want to save this, we just want it, want it to render sort of in the picture viewer and I'll see when it's finished and in the meal time, in the meal time, meantime, I'll switch the batteries for my mouse. Okay, so I have fresh batteries in my mouse. I switched off the physical render and just so I had a quick render. And as I'm looking at this, and it's not playing in real time because I'm recording, but as I'm looking at this, I'm actually thinking I want to improve the, or increase the friction a little bit because the bullets are still sliding around a bit too much. I'm not perfectly happy with that. So let's maybe try that and let's go back into here and increase our friction. Uh, that's too much, maybe like 35. Let's check. just try by little increments. Clear our cache, bake it again, and I'll see you when I have another preview ready. Okay, so I did that. Also, I increased my collision noise a little bit because I didn't like the results both in the steps and in the in the shells and what I've ended up with is, where's my picture viewer? Uh, window picture viewer. Okay, and this is what I've ended up with. Now, as I actually, what I re really like is this sort of shell flying towards the camera, like right here, very true, that was actually really nice. But what I see is most of the action is actually happening back here. So what I'll do is actually fake this a little bit and I'll take the camera Let's drop the, drop the protection tag. Let's add a null right here. Put the camera in there and what I'll do is just drag the camera forward a little bit. I can't really see much of a difference because I mean the geometry is all the same, but the difference is that I'll be, I'll, I actually move the camera more to the background. So now I have more action happening here. Maybe I want it, want to move it a little bit more, but this is actually starting to be quite okay. Yeah, just let's move it just a little tiny bit more. Maybe like three centimeters should be right. Let's see. Yeah, that, there's the one that flew so, sort of towards the camera. You know what? Uh, let me let me move it even further still, just a little bit. <clears throat> Maybe three more. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much fine. I actually, this is, yeah, this is pretty much perfect. I still want to keep this one that sort of flies towards me right here. Yeah, that one. I want to keep that one, but I still want to see enough 
enough action happening right here on the middle. And this is actually quite nice. So I'll just keep this, I'll keep the animation. And next I'll see you in lighting and rendering.